Here we go. We got a Holly 600 1850-5. The 5 means it's the 5th series run. 1850 tells you what it is. This is a General Motors and Chrysler linkage. You can bolt a Ford kick down if you want to on it. Or it's got a Chevrolet pin here. Uh, it's got a vacuum port there and a vacuum port there. Probably one over here on the side for the brakes. And the electric choke, which is turned off. Read about it in your uh, video uh, links that we send you. It's got a Holly regulator on it, of course, for three pounds or less. You can learn how to do the choke when you look at the video that we sent you. Or look at it online. Okay, we got the mixture set at 12 to 1, which is the perfect mixture for a good clean burn. And you'll see when that computer gets done calculating right there. It's going to set mine. Okay, we're going to rev it up. The mixture's going to start in and out. The reason that the mixture thins out like you see right there is because you don't need the biggest fire going on in there to keep your vehicle going. It can thin it out because you've overcome inertia. You don't need a lot of extra gas squirting in there to propel it. Although it has a power valve system for when you do need a big load going up a hill or pulling the trailer, it gives you some extra fuel for a little bit bigger fire. But once that inertia is overcome, you see it thinned back out. This is the electric choke model 600. This in here is a non emission, doesn't have the vacuum uh, breather pipes on each end for emission stuff.